Now, on the topic of a prostate biopsy, one of the challenges that we have is if someone's biopsy is negative, so they may have had a high PSA, a lesion, uh, on an MRI scan, they have a biopsy, reassuringly that's negative. But if we're following those men up afterwards, the process itself of having a biopsy can actually result in a higher PSA. And if those men actually have BPH, so the benign prostatic enlargement, and they've had a biopsy, even if we check their PSA six or sometimes 12 months after the biopsy, that PSA test can be elevated. That can make the situation slightly confusing and challenging to manage because we're then not sure if the biopsy was falsely negative, meaning that the biopsy missed the spot, or if someone's increase, subsequent increase in the PSA after the biopsy is a byproduct of inflammation, which is produced from the process of doing the biopsy itself. Okay, so to, to summarize, as you can see, there are a variety of different reasons why a PSA test can go up. So it lacks specificity. There still, it is the best test that we have to try and start or initiate the process of prostate cancer screening. We need to be aware of the limitations of the test.